For 75 years, the Doomsday Clock has been a powerful metaphor, representing how close humanity is to extinction from threats like nuclear weapons. Currently set at 90 seconds to midnight, the clock suggests we are closer to catastrophe today than at any time since its 1947 debut. But had the Doomsday Warning Mechanism been around 900,000 years ago, it might have estimated only a single second remained before midnight signalled the end of humanity. An intriguing new genetic study suggests that our ancestors dwindled to just 1,280 breeding individuals during that era, and they nearly vanished from the earth long before modern humans even appeared on the scene. Modern humans, aka Homo sapiens, emerged around 300,000 years ago, after evolving from human ancestors. The most prevalent of our ancestors at the time of this near extinction was the predecessor to Homo heidelbergensis. There's a lot we still don't know about who these ancestors were and where they lived. During this period, our human ancestors lost 98.7% of their population, according to the study published in Science. The authors estimate that the reduced population had an average of 1,280 breeding individuals and remained this diminished for over 100,000 years. Before this dramatic population loss, our human ancestors around the time had between 58,000 and 135,000 breeding individuals, the authors estimate. So what could have caused our numbers to dwindle to 1,280 and to remain so low for over 100,000 years? They argue that a major factor may have been the extreme cooling that began around 900,000 years ago, according to the geological evidence. This cooling period coincided with severe drought in Africa and the decline of other species that human ancestors may have used as a food source. Adding to these climatic challenges were geological events, particularly volcanic eruptions that could have potentially contributed to population bottleneck. The Toba super eruption, which occurred approximately 74,000 years ago, is a well-studied event linked to severe reduction in human populations. However, it is essential to recognize that various volcanic activities, including activities occurring around 900,000 years ago, could have had similarly catastrophic events on local ecosystems. Volcanic eruptions can lead to immediate destruction of habitats, loss of life and long-term climatic changes through the release of ash and sulphur dioxide into the atmosphere, which can block sunlight and result in a volcanic winter. These changes could exacerbate the already challenging conditions caused by climate shifts leading to further limiting food sources and livelihoods for early humans. The confluence of these pressures from climate changes and natural disasters likely led to a genetic bottleneck. A genetic bottleneck occurs when a population size is significantly reduced for at least one generation, resulting in a decrease in genetic diversity. Research suggests that during periods of climatic stress, early human populations may have been reduced to as few as several thousand individuals. This reduction would have had profound implications for later generations. A loss of genetic diversity can lead to inbreeding, which then results in reduced adaptability and the increased risk of genetic disorders. For Homo heidelbergensis, this genetic bottleneck would prove a significant challenge as they navigated the treacherous environments brought about by climate instability. If correct, this would also mean that our human ancestors experienced a decline in genetic diversity, since there are fewer potential partners for reproduction. This may have had implications for the evolution of Homo heidelbergensis 
which emerged around 700,000 years ago. This population decline may have also played a role in the evolution of Neanderthals and Denisovans by narrowing the genetic pool. Archaeological sites from around this period provide indirect evidence supporting the assertion of a near extinction event. Findings from Europe and Africa reveal significant reduction in artefacts and other signs of human activity during the colder periods of the Middle Pleistocene. The scarcity of stone tools, hunting implements and habitation sites indicate a decrease in population density and activity levels. One notable site is the Boxgrove site in England, where evidence suggests a rich habitat previously occupied by early humans gradually became less favourable due to climate shifts. Over time, Patterns in the archaeological record show a decline in the number of sites occupied by humans, indicating substantial pressures that could have led to significant population decreases. In response to the challenges presented by extreme climate and geological events, early humans had to adapt or face extinction. One of their primary strategies was migration, as certain areas became inhospitable, groups would have migrated in search of more favourable environments that would sustain their populations. This mobility highlights the resilience and ingenuity of early humans. They adapted their hunting gathering strategies to exploit new ecosystems and developed increasingly sophisticated tools and techniques to deal with their changing world. For instance, the management of fire would have become even more critical as temperatures fluctuated, enabling cooking, warmth and protection against predators. Changes in social structure would also have occurred, as smaller dispersed groups formed networks for resource sharing and cooperative hunting, which would prove advantageous in difficult times. It is during these times of adversity that traits such as social cohesion and adaptability came to redefine early human communities. Despite significant hardship, Homo heidelbergensis proved resilient. The species survived these tumultuous events and would eventually give rise to later hominins, including Neanderthals and ultimately Homo sapiens. The challenges of the Middle Pleistocene inadvertently accelerated human development. Those populations that adapted to survive during these difficult times likely possessed the traits that enabled them to thrive in varied environments, setting the stage for the evolutionary journey that would follow. With climate and ecological pressures acting as forces to drive natural selection, those who survived would often be those who could innovate adapt and work collaboratively. As such, the events around 900,000 years ago significantly shaped the physical and social characteristics of subsequent human species. And so, against the backdrop of an unforgiving world, this band of early humans transformed fear into fortitude. What emerged from the frostbitten ashes was not just a species that survived, but one that learned to thrive, transforming struggle into the very essence of their identity. The legacy of that pivotal moment continues to pulse through generations, reflecting the indomitable spirit of humanity, a spirit that says, against all odds, we persevere. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.